Let's let's talk about this right quick because I really want to get your opinion on this. We are having COVID outbreaks at a just astronomical rate right now. And as we know, there are some states in this country that are much more, uh, maybe tyrannical would not be the right word, but uh, much more uh, subject to lockdowns. Yeah, restrictive. That's, that's what I'm looking for. They're much more restrictive when it comes to this COVID stuff than some other states. The Super Bowl this year is scheduled to be held in Los Angeles in February. If you are the NFL and you don't want to go through all the mess, do you go ahead and remove that and and you know maybe swap next year's and I don't know where next year's is, but you try next year's and, is in Vegas, so we're not swapping that. Probably not swapping that. I mean, do you do you find a way to make it much more accessible, or or do you just stick with the plan and and hope for the best? Uh, I think you try to use your power and influence over. Uh, local and state government. I mean, they kind of did that last year with the uh, with the Rose Bowl, right? College football did, and they ended yeah. up pulling the Rose Bowl for the college football playoff and put it in Dallas. So that's that's what I'm concerned about. Is you know, we're going to have one of those situations where the game will but basically. They don't be have the money or the power or the influence that the NFL does. That's true. That is true. I don't know. It's it's very interesting. The NFL did announce that uh, anybody that has two two shots, like they're not mandating vaccines for everybody. Like obviously you can still go through and like get tested, all that good stuff. But if you have two shots and you're already quote unquote fully vaccinated, now you are going to have to have three shots. So they are making you get a booster to be considered fully vaccinated so that you don't have to go through all the all the crap that everybody else does when they are not fully vaccinated. So very. I just don't understand that once they get fully vaccinated, <clears throat> and I've listened to a lot of COVID information from a lot of different sources, I feel like I'm pretty well informed and, and have my opinion made. I'm not trying to force my opinion on other people, but I do think that once once you all right, so if you want everybody to get the booster, that's fine. If you get the booster, I would just let it be done. We're done testing. We're done testing. We don't care if you get it or not because we have enough information to know. That if you get it and you've got the booster, you're probably not going to get real sick. And it doesn't matter. If you get sick, then then we'll test you. And we don't want you to come to work until you're better. Just like anything else. But there's no reason to test you. Just isn't, isn't that strange, though? I thought that I thought these guys were basically done testing for the most part anyway once they got fully vaccinated. And now you've got just also outbreaks. Too, not. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. So No, no, that's it. I just. I, I think if you, it, and that, that's, that's, that would be what that would be the motivation I would use to get people to be willing to get the, the booster. Is I would tell them if you get the booster, then 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 you can then you can forego testing for the rest of the year. So if your team makes the playoffs, you know you're not going to be opted out because of COVID. Yeah, because yeah. we think your body is you've got enough immunity in the, in the science that we have in there to to have it. Yeah, basically, if you feel well enough to play, you can play. I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.